Hey, what's up guys? Max Graphics here, and today I'm going to be showing you a Cinema 4D tutorial uh, on how to make 3D text. Uh, this is for beginners, someone who just now downloaded it and wants to learn the bare bones basics. So, I am in Cinema 4D R14.025, and basically this is what you get whenever you first open up. Cinema 4D, you have all these neat little options. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. It looks super complicated when you first get into this, but I promise you guys it gets super easy as time goes on. So, for starters, to do anything with text as a whole, you're going to come up here to MoGraph, and then you're going to come all the way down to MoText. And then, let's see, there it is. And basically, we have our 3D text. Easy as that. And what we're going to do is, we're going to come over here. And this little tool that I just clicked on, the rotating tool, it basically changes the perspective angle. See, now it's flip-flopped. And then we bring it back. And now we're here. And then we can go out and in. And then we can kind of move it around. So, for starters, we are at 20 centimeters, and that is depth, basically the, I guess we'll go from this angle, the width of the text, and a good thing that I like to use is 120, and it gives it that super deep kind of look to it, if you don't want that much, and then again, come over here, you can use these little arrow keys, and boom. So. We're going to go back to 120, and then this little text box right here, we'll just say tutorial, in all caps. Oh, and you're noticing, oh man, that's super big. It's not fitting in between these lines. What do I do? Hit this little scale tool, and then basically grab that, and here we are. And then change our perspective. Click back on this. Whenever you click away, it will take this away. You'll be like, oh gosh, what did I do? Just come back. Click. And then there is caps. And then basically, a good thing to do is always go for fill caps. And let me zoom in real quick. If you notice, the start... See, that's with fill caps on, and then that's with it off. And then cap is just capping off the front of the text, pretty much. And we're going to go fill it, cap, and then we'll say 2, and we'll go go 2. And it gives that kind of nice, smooth, rounded off look to your text. And then, same thing for the back, fill it cap, and then 2, and 2. And then we can come back over here, and we will bring it out just a little bit, just to where it'll fit. Alrighty. And then to change the font of said text, whatever you want to use, uh, you just have to download your fonts. Same, same easy process, normal as always. You don't have to do anything with Cinema 4D as far as bringing font files over. You click... And usually it'll pop right up, but mine is pretty slow. I have quite a bit of fonts. Um, but it always takes a good couple seconds for this thing to pop up. So we will just hang out for a second. And see if it wants to cooperate. Still nothing. There it goes. Okay. So. Alright. So this is my list of fonts. Um, basically you can choose whatever you have downloaded on your computer. Uh, you can pick from here. Let's say... Um, let's say we want to use Hello Point. Click. Then it'll change it. And completely crazy looking text now doesn't even look like the, the bare bones stuff. 
but a good font I like to use is the next font, which is right there. Um, so you can change to all of these, whatever you want, basically any of these. And it changes it automatically, which is super cool. And see, now it's acting up again. It doesn't want to work. Free me. Free. 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 There it goes. Okay. Oh, acting up today. Okay. So, go back over here. Same thing. I'll come all the way down. And the next font. And there you go. And that is how you basically create... 3D text in Cinema 4D, if you are new and you didn't know, there you go. And also a quick tip, uh, if you want to add some color to this, because when we render it out, it'll just be kind of like an offset gray. Basically how it is, how it looks right now is how it'll come out. So we will come over here, new material. And to change the color of your material, you just want to play around with these colors. And I'll also have a video on how to make really nice looking materials. Um, I have some nice gloss to it, and then we'll go in more in depth with textures and all kinds of cool stuff. So basically, to add color, now that you know how to make 3D text in Cinema 4D, to add a material to it, you're going to click on this, the material we have down here, which is like a nice teal. You're going to click... Hold, drag it all the way over until you see the arrow down plus sign. And then that completely changes it to whatever material that you just had. And then a good little thing, uh, this has to do with textures, but I figured I'll give a little key points for anybody, you know, just now getting into designing and buying or downloading uh, material packs. Projection keep that a cubic and seamless always keep that projection cubic seamless checked and trust me you guys it'll make the worldly difference on how your renders come out but yeah guys uh basically cinema 4d a little intro video for you um if you would like more videos in cinema 4d just comment down below and let me know and if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or anything like that, uh, just feel free to comment and let me know. But I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.